Hello everyone, welcome to this video where I'm basically doing a full ambient light install on this Volkswagen Polo. It's going to be different. Um, I've actually not worked on a Volkswagen like this in quite some time. So I'm kind of excited to see what the differences are between this and working on a Golf, for example. I think they'll be pretty similar to each other uh, in terms of the wiring and those kind of things. But the actual like, removal of panels and stuff will probably obviously be slightly different. What I'm gonna do is show you guys around the car, look at how to remove everything, and then show you guys how to basically do the installation of all the parts. So, so let's start off by having a quick look inside the car. We've obviously got the full basic standard interior, which is, to be honest, as a first car, this is pretty much all you need. It's a brilliant example of a car. And um, yeah, it's, it's it should look really nice. I think, there's certain parts of this that we have to be aware of. We can't do it above the glove box here because it wouldn't stay in if you ever lower the glove box. Um, the doors, we're gonna figure out to see if we can actually fit the ambient lighting onto it properly. I'm gonna do it how I normally do it, which is I'm gonna take apart one side, figure everything out with the door cards there, and then do the center console with you all as well, and then do the other side on camera. So I'll catch up with you all very soon after I've completed one side. 11 minutes later. So I want to take apart the door cards on one of these cars or it done on the side Just get some trim removal tool Anything to basically get to this corner Pop it up and remember the top one's got a bigger thicker piece. So there's that there now We've got two T30s here and one at the bottom That's how you do the rear doors the front door slightly different, but I'll show you that in a moment Let's take these ones off One of those pieces like this and then just bit by bit if upwards undo these clips for the door handle and the door window switch so on this one the rest of the door cards the same it's just back here we've got a little bit of a plastic piece we need to remove now in, in here we've got a t20 that needs to be removed and then we can take the rest of the door card off. So on the next step with, I'm doing the driver's door cause it is a little bit more difficult with this door probably than anything cause it's got extra wiring. Once you disconnect it all, it's completely fine. What you want to do is just pop off this part. Now I do want to preface this something. If you have this fabric material here or anything else, you can't put a strip anywhere above here. It's just way too tight. If you have a plastic here, you can do it across here. So that's just something that I thought I'd make everyone aware of. Being that that's not what we're gonna be doing, we're just gonna be doing the strip over here. So just wanna get access to it. All you gotta do is just pop it off and that's it. I just put that part back in. And then we're just gonna get the strip to go in. So just feed the wire through and through to the back. Try to bring it as much to the edge as you can. And then from here now, just gently put this all back in, get the clips to go to sit back. So first up, just open it up to the point where you can actually get this first clip in. There we go. Now the reason why I haven't cut it yet is because now that I know that it's in place, I can just level it up a little bit, line it up as best as I can. And now we can just create a cut here. All right, let's get the wiring done for this now. So let's show you all that. Just over here, we've got the window regulator, the motor control. It's the same on the front and rear, which is we need to get access to the thick red and yellow on the front and brown, which is the earth. So the red is red and yellow or the yellow and black on the rear. That is the live and the brown is the earth. Now it is a constant live. So just be careful of that when working here. With these little T connectors, we can just connect it up like so. And now we can get the actual module. So this module I'm gonna put just over in this corner here. So the live is just gonna get connected up here. Earth just next to it. And now we just gotta connect this wire to the LED strip on the door. So then just from here now, connect up the strips like so. That's perfect. Now we need to get these wires back in place. Just connect everything back up. So we can 
can connect this one up as well. From here, hook up all the wiring, get everything put back in, and now we just gotta make sure that we can tuck in all this wiring here, make sure everything looks nice. So everyone, I just gotta take apart the center console a little bit. So we've gotta get access to cigarette lighter over here. Let's pop this off, we've got a couple of T20s just on the side. There's two, one on each side. Just gotta figure out how to take apart all of this. So actually, I think, I was trying not to take this panel off, but I guess I have to. To be able to do the rest of it properly. Just that one off. Take this one off next. Couple more T20s. So now we should be able to dismantle this centerpiece. Slide it forward. Back over here. By the gear shifter, it looks like there's two tabs that you need to pull downwards. One on each side. Let's see if I pull those two down. Oh, that's super awkward. There we go. Lift this out. Woo! So from here, one, two more T20s. I hope you all like these videos because it's honestly, it's a lot of work to get them done. This is prior to even editing it. Just even filming all of this just takes so much longer than it would if I didn't have to film this. So what's next here? Okay, right, you just take off the rear cup holder section. So everyone had a little bit of a nightmare with regards to the center console, but I've somewhat managed to overcome it and let me show you all what I did. So instead of removing the whole center console, apparently to remove it properly, I think I need to remove the actual handbrake. Don't want to do that because that's an extra risk element that I do not want to add to doing an install now. You can reach underneath to get access to the cigarette live and earth. So the red and yellow here is the live, brown is the earth. Just going to use the T connectors in up for that. I'm going to feed the wires and everything and put it all underneath here. I can reach in there. You can lift it up to reach everything. Um, but it just means that you can't um, basically take it all off easily. So I don't want to do that again. Don't want to be playing around with someone's handbrake because even though I can do it all, I don't want any of that risk being put on me. So that's why I haven't gone about doing that. But I put a strip over already on this side, done the same to the other and put that one kind of in place. So there's two more, three more to add, one across the center, one on each side, and then just placing all the footwell. So I'm gonna put those all on now and then I'll catch up with you all shortly. And just like that, the car is basically finished. Um, obviously YouTube editing makes things a lot smoother of a process. But let's have a look around the car now, shall we? So we've got the door strips done just above the door handles. We've got the strip light just going across the dashboard and stuff. And pretty much when you first look at the car, you wouldn't really be able to tell that it's had any ambient lighting work done. I always try to have the work look in a way which is going to look like as though it was never even done. But if we turn around, look at it from this point of view. Now remember, this is with all of the garage lighting already on. So, there we go, look at that. We've got it on this side as well. And it's gonna to switch to the last color that I selected. There we go. How good does that look, everyone? How good does that look? You know, so we've got the strips going across the center console as well. In fact, let's turn the lights off. Well, at least most of the lights. As I mentioned to the owner, because we weren't able to go about the door stripping all the way along, this is quite reminiscent to how Mercedes are, with the way it's just like a little piece by the door handle. And obviously we've got the whole center console lit up beautifully. If we just turn this light off as well. Ooh, look at that, everybody. So this part is actually gone into the dashboard, so you can still open the glove box. It's got a nice little glow there. We've got another light just underneath here to nicely glow up anything in 
the actual cup holders here with the bottle just here you can see how it's basically lit up from the storage light basically being added on yeah that is the car's lying so uh we'll take some nice fancy shots which you probably all would have seen by now and we can uh call it a night Yep, that is right. It does work with your music and it does fluctuate like this and you can do loads of different patterns as well with how it works with your music. I will say this was actually kind of a bit more challenging than I thought it would be. Certain parts of the car just weren't as fast or as easy to work with. The the dash and stuff like that, it was quite technical and it was quite fiddly and stuff like that. So it's definitely one that I would say if it's your first time working on one of these cars, it's definitely going to take you some time. But great thing is, car is done. Happy days. So right everyone, that is the car all completed, done and dusted. Now I'll leave a link for everything in the description down below. If you found this video helpful or useful or enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing because at the end of the day, there's a lot of car content on the channel. Hopefully if you are interested in getting an install done and you don't want to tackle it yourself, please hit me up on Instagram or you can check out my email address or Facebook or hopefully my website will be up by now and you'll be able to book in via that. But for now everyone, I'll see you all in a future video. Peace out. Bye.